ndetera Kwe tonze marejane abandi mu mama w'abana bane umuntu mutware ko ndahista Jean Baptiste ngaruka bigira ikibazagera mu mutware gye nkuko abafite nk'ikira ka nkuka gahita rwara nta nange nta kazi mfite ugasanga ubuzima butubayeho nabi nabana n'inzara ko hibwe na kunzu kuno bwitwa gusabura ayo agiye kurwara amara nk'imya amara nk'imisi nk'itatu atangira kubura ibitotsi ntasinzire akarara dasinziriye ngamaze nk'imisi nk'itatu nibwo ahita afatwa akagenda kabirwaho yagiye iyo yarwaye bata bamujyana kwa muganga aragenda police ni imufata kamujyana kwa muganga When we try to connect the psychotrauma of genocide of Tutsi in Rwanda with mental disorder manifestation, we found out a kind of pathway that people are developing at the beginning, uh, especially uh, during the period of commemoration of genocide. People were developing a high number of PTSD disorder and uh, also generalized anxiety disorder like panic attacks and uh, sleep disorders. After that time, some of them start to develop severe mental disorder like depression and the psychotic disorder. Our collaboration with Rwanda, which we have defined for the next five years, will focus on three core pillars, uh, which go in hand in hand in addressing the burden. Firstly, as a patient, getting to your facility of care is a huge journey. We have been able to train over 60,000 community health workers, part of decentralization and support to decentralization, where community health workers can identify patients in the community and refer them for services. The second piece of our collaboration is to ensure we can make essential medicine and innovative medicine available to the population who needs them, focusing on schizophrenia. The third part is we know a lot about mental illness, but when we look at the data we have, there's very little data coming from Sub-Saharan Africa. So a huge part of our third piece is looking at mental health research, both population-based research and even clinical research and research capacity building. The partnership with Johnson & Johnson made us capable of conducting the first ever Rwanda mental health survey. We say today with evidence we can give to anyone the prevalence of a common mental disorders. Our patients, the ones suffering from schizophrenia, used to take their pill on a daily basis. That's a burden for the families, even for the patients. But now uh, with a Johnson & Johnson, we have an injection for every three months. Rwanda does not just talk. When a leadership is committed and they say, we will do this together, they mean it. They have shown that if you are committed, no matter how small a country, how small a budget, you can make true impact. There is no health without mental health. Let's give mental health the same attention as we give to physical health. 